The perspective in this room makes me dizzy. It's very wrong. This wall is supposed to go out that way, but the railing in the window is going out that way. There's like 18 mansion points. I think they're being lazy. They're like, I don't want to bother with measuring out the linear perspective, so whatever. I don't think they're being lazy, I just don't think they know. Come on, didn't they have linear perspective by then? Linear perspective came around the Renaissance. Yeah, but this is Portugal. Renaissance is Italy. <laughs> <laughs> is it a man? It's a horse! <laughs> I think that horse is very anxious. <laughs> it's not a good angle. I've always thought about tiles as an accessory to the architecture. But in Portugal, the tiles are it. They're all over the place. They even have an Azulejos museum. They really are proud of this. They say, okay, this is a national art form we can all get behind. This is ours. <laughs> What's funny about the Tile Museum is that most of the historical tiles there are pretty much all blue and yellow. They could be the local materials. Maybe there is some product in Portugal that can be produced in large quantities that is best for use of tiles, and it happens to be blue and yellow. Well, some of the tiles just blend in, and then some of them are really attention-seeking. They're like, look at me! I'm a huge wall of patterns! Whenever I visit New City, I always try to see what impacts me immediately. And for me, it was definitely the color of the buildings in Lisbon. There's definitely some iconic colors on the buildings that you just never get in the United States. I have to imagine that living with dreamsicle orange has to brighten your day. There's no chance that doesn't impact you. When speaking to Portuguese people, their response is to say, oh, we don't even notice the color anymore because we lived with this our entire lives. Yeah, they thought I was a weirdo because I kept going like, look at that magenta! Oh my god, that lime green! Well, you're also just an art nerd. I think normally people would be surprised over people saying that over colors. <laughs> I feel like green is the Lisbon colors, like mint chocolate chip, but there's variations. There's also like key lime. It's on all the taxis and all the scooters. Every place we visited in Portugal really had its own color palette. Sintra was all about the primary colors. Obidosh was yellow and blue stripes. I think that's so much fun that no matter what city you're in, you can find that color palette. Hey, Cal, are you under the blanket? Oh. <laughs> You're like a princess in the PAC. <laughs> the AC is on, my nose gets cold. 